This is just like butter. I just wanna like put it everywhere. Let's go to Target. This is like the best dollar section ever. Why do I love this? I don't know. All right, entering the Easter zone. Pop-Tarts, that is so cute. That was a successful trip. Let's go home and do a haul. I just brought up the Easter decorations. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am driving to the gym. It's Monday. It's a very Monday, Monday, okay? I am switched from Celsius to just Alani now, and my face is doing so much better. Y'all, I think you were right about the biotin. It was messing with my face, I think. I don't know, my skin's definitely not like 100% cleared up, but is it better? Heck yes. I think my favorite flavors at the moment of Alani are the mimosa and the tropsicle. Maybe I'm just on an orange kick. But I'm heading back to the gym. I haven't been to the physical gym in a while, like 10 days or so. I worked out on Friday, but I worked out at home, so I haven't been like in the gym in a minute. And I don't know why, I have like a little bit of anxiety about it. But I really like the workout today, so that's good. Um, it's an upper body day, and I, I like the workout. I looked at it on the Co-Pilot app, and I was like, okay, I feel good about this. I, I can do this. I am such a routine person, though. It's like, if I fall off of anything, it just it takes me a minute to get back into the groove. I'm so routine-oriented. Maybe it's a Capricorn thing, or just a human thing. I don't know, but um, it takes me a minute to get back into the routine. Um, and like, it would typically be a grocery ordering day, but like we kind of have enough for like a few more days. I'm like, should I just order enough for the rest of the week? I don't know. I'm, o I'm overthinking this, this little thing called life. I have a lot on my to-do list today. Um, I have a call at 11 and it's 9.30 because we had the spring ahead daylight savings time a couple days ago. Yar and I are dying, dude. Like we're so tired. <laughs> this morning we both got up at eight and we were like just so groggy. And last night I couldn't fall asleep because it was earlier than it really was and on the time. So I've stayed up till like 11.30 but I don't think I fell asleep for like a minute. I don't know, but we're both pretty tired, kind of moving at a slow pace. I need to get this, this hour workout done quick, get home from my call at 11. And then I just have like a lot of like logistically things to do today, like um, answering emails, calling places for something. Like also at some point this week, I wanna decorate a little bit for Easter because I have, I have some cute Easter decor I noticed in my basement from the last few years. So I need to pull that out. I'm hosting Easter this year with my family too. So I wanna like do a cute little decorations. Anyway, I'm almost at the gym, so Godspeed. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I am back home. It's so much later. It's almost one o'clock now. Got home, had a phone call, and then I actually just sold a couple lamps <laughs> on Facebook Marketplace. And I just went and met this lady, and I'm heating up some leftovers for lunch. Last night I made, um, I put it on Instagram stories, I made like a protein um, penne with the garlic alfredo from Rayo's. I seasoned the crap out of my chicken. It was so good. And then broccoli, it was just so yummy. And pasta has the best flavor the day after, always. So I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna eat, take a shower and do my makeup. I have um, a sponsorship to film and I'm contemplating if I wanna shoot an unboxing too. Mm. So I wanna do an Amazon haul because I found some awesome new stuff, but I think there's a few more things coming in today or tomorrow. There's Bruno. We always laugh when we hear him like in the distance just like slurping his water. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that another day because I want to wait for everything to come in and do like a collective Amazon haul. So my workout was really good though. It felt good to be like back in the gym. Like working out at home is great, but I do love like going to a physical location <laughs> somewhere else. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So I sold the lamps. <laughs> now that's so empty. We're waiting for the Sonos ones to come from Ikea. They're coming Thursday. And he is just taking a little rest while I was showering. Are you cozy on this rainy day? Is it just so cozy on the bed? Oh, look at that boy. Look at that face. Oh, so 
handsome. Okay, you guys, it is several hours later. I have just been sitting at the computer all afternoon. I'm wearing some of the new merch, the wannabe barista merch. I got this hoodie in this really cute blue color. It's just like so cozy. I love curling up in it. I got a couple things from Urban Outfitters I wanted to show you. I just opened it and I'm like, look at how cute. So I got this oversized sweatshirt. So their stuff runs like pretty big for like the oversized stuff. So this is the large slash extra large. I think like, you know, in the pictures, it looks like a dress, but on me, it just looks like an oversized sweatshirt, but they had different colors of the Nirvana. So I got the pink um, and it has smiley faces on the sleeve. Super cute, super cute. And then their t-shirt dresses are like some of my favorite oversized t-shirts. Like I have a bunch and I just love them. Do I just have one? Maybe two. I have the Sublime one. I don't know the other one I have, but they have a bunch of new ones. So I got this one that says The Doors. And I love all these colors and kind of this vintage wash. Yes, I'm a fake fan. It's all right. And I got these both in the L slash XL as well. And then we got another little Def Leopard one right here. So cute. I love the colors in this greeny color. So yeah, they just fit as like an oversized t-shirt versus like the t-shirt dress on the models. So yeah, I showered, I filmed, um, and I also opened up my new Miranda Fry jewelry because their spring collection is out and the pieces are so cute. These are some of these like rectangle hoops. I'll insert the reel that I filmed right here. It has like the haul of everything. Round up the troops, Miranda Fry dropped new jewelry. Of course, I got a bunch of the new pieces, so let's try them on. This is the new Paisley gold necklace and I got it in the 21 inch. You guys know I mostly wear Miranda Fry. It's because they're really good quality. They don't break the bank and they have a lot of size inclusive options. I got a thick neck, thick fingers all of it. And I'm also wearing one of the new rings. This is the Moonstone Gold Ring. Um, That is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Got it in a size 10. I think they go up to a size 12. Beautiful. You guys, look how cute these like little square gold hoops are. I'm obsessed. These are called the Kate. This is the Waverly Cuff. They go up to size extra large. I got the large. Look at how it like dips down. <gasps> That is beautiful. Miranda Fry also has an amazing dupe for the Cartier Love bracelet. This is the Kate chain and I also got it in a 21 inch. And look at this gorgeous new charm. Oh my gosh, that combo is everything. They have a matching bracelet. You get the signature MF dangle and it just feels like so dainty on your wrist. This is the Amy necklace. I love this with the little jewels. They have plus size friendly anklets. They have different sizes in their anklets. This is their new one, the Windsor anklet. Look at how beautiful that is with like these kind of rectangular shapes. So these are the new pieces I picked up. There is even more. If you want to try anything, use my code FEARLESS. You'll get a discount and free shipping. Everything is super great quality. Lots of great size options. Let me know which piece you're picking up. So so yeah, I think we're just gonna have dinner and like chill out. I just got so much done though. And since it's rainy out, it's just been like a good day to sit at home and get stuff done. Many hours later. We've just been chilling. We've just been chilling. We played fetch as well inside. <laughs> Cause it's raining. Cause it's raining. My hand, so I love you. I'm glad you guys don't get sick of Bruno moments like this on the cam. Cause he's just so handsome and I just love to show him. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is a really gloomy day today, like gloomier than yesterday. I think people more um, like north of us are getting a really, oh, I have this backwards, are getting a really bad snowstorm, like a full on nor'easter. We are just getting rain here. And you want to know what? I want to go to Target. I haven't poked around Target in a minute. I am hosting Easter, so I wanna get like some cute Easter decor. I have a couple things in the basement I need to pull up, but I want to go check it out. And there's just like a few random things in the house we need, like trash bags and stuff. So let's go to Target together. I'm just gonna get ready real quick. Um, my hair is clean. I showered yesterday and I kind of just let it air dry. So I'm deciding if I want to do anything to it. I used my little micro beauty blender yesterday and I will say I really loved using it under my eyes. It was really nice to like get up in there and get the concealer. Oh, and to blend the nose contour. So good. I swear the e.l.f. Halo Glow could like be foundation. <laughs> 
has like a decent coverage. And then wearing the new Nirvana sweatshirt from Urban. It's so cute. I'm just gonna throw on like some minimal makeup. I was gonna put this as like my base and then conceal my pimples and kind of just be a glowy girl. I feel like there's no point in doing my hair today either just because like it's wet outside and it's gonna get wet when I walk in the store. Like look how pretty that is for a base. Like I feel like it looks like I'm wearing foundation. I'm just gonna take some of my trusty old NYX, so not NYX, it's not NYX. I wish it was NYX. Some NARS soft matte concealer. I'm gonna go over any blemishes. I probably should have done that first. <laughs> per usual, I just sat down not knowing <laughs> what the plan would be for makeup. This one's a little light. So I'm still a little bit tan. I also want to get like an Easter dress. I found some really cute ones on Boohoo. Ooh, let's use the Rare Beauty Contour Wand. I haven't used it on my face yet. Ooh, I got the color Happy Soul, I think, right? Yes. And I'm going to show you guys how good the Micro Beauty Blender is to blend out your nose contour. Oh, this is just like butter. I just want to like put it everywhere. Like, look at how perfect this is for blending out your nose contour. Cause I feel like I could only really get precision if I used a powder and a small brush. But now that I have this, I can use a cream. Like, whoa, <laughs> that's so good. Let's see how this bronzer looks buffed out. Ooh, so pretty. Rare Beauty is the moment. So creamy, it just like blends right out and looks like it just looks like a natural sun-kissed look. I'm gonna use some one size Concealer, just a little bit under my eyes. <laughs> I love this little sponge. Like, really, it's doing something for me. You can just get so precise. And then my favorite shade of the Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wands is Pillow Talk, which is just, like, not a surprise at all. I'll link all the makeup that I am using. We'll put, like, a dash on the nose. It's just that, like, quintessential Pillow Talk shade. Kind of mauve kind of nudie mauve. I'm just gonna go over it with my sponge just to soften it up a little bit. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier. I wish I didn't have to, but if I don't, I'll be creasing because I got a big old line under my eyes. I'm just gonna set kind of like my T-zone, leave the cheeks a little dewy. If you don't get translucent powder everywhere, tell me your secret. I just wanna talk. More blush. The shade Facet from Tarte matches so well and looks so good on top. I'm feeling blushy today. We'll just do a little powder bronze. That's it for skin. A little more than I planned, but it happens. I'm gonna do the Get Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better. You know the drill. I feel like when I post this, it's the Sephora sale. So if you're gonna grab anything, this. I'm just gonna do a simple brow with the NYX. Thick it and stick it. Another Alex fave. No effort. I need to dye my brows again. They're a little too light for my liking. So I think I had mentioned we're watching Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. It's so good. Like, dare I say I like it more than Selling Sunset? And I don't know if that's true because I haven't watched Selling Sunset in a minute. But it's really good and it's longer. I like that the episodes are like 40 minutes, you know? It's kind of just giving me like real old school reality television vibes maybe that's why i like it i have old bronzer on this brush so i'm just gonna slap that into the crease and i am still on the kick of using waterproof mascara because on vacation my lashes were popping this is lash paradise from the drugstore in waterproof and if you curl your lashes first and use waterproof mascara they will stick up okay so there is the mascara i didn't spend a lot of time on it i just if you spend a lot of time you can get more but still pretty good this is the tarte maracuda juicy lip plump and then i just did some like faux french braids where i just twist the front and then braid the bottom let's go to target here is the target run fit check how cute they have different colors definitely recommend this is the large slash slash extra large and then I'm wearing some Amazon leggings and some Uggs. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we gotta check out the dollar section first. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my God. For honey. That is so cute. You 
guys, right now the dollar section is so good. Like, wow, it's so cute. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. You guys, I'm freaking out. Everything is so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute with the pink. They have a bunch of different like charcuterie boards. And like, look at these gorgeous cups. I'm forming a little bunny tribe. <laughs> I'm gonna get this for the kitchen. A bunch of gardening stuff. I wish I could buy this, but I buy fake plants. Nice pot, cute. Little watering can, little mushroom. That's adorable. You guys, they have a heatless curl kit for five bucks. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, and a little vlogging light clip. Oh my gosh, a little mini flat iron. This is like the best dollar section ever. This is so cute. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I just did way more damage in the dollar section than I planned. You guys knew I was gonna come over here. You knew it. That is so cute. Let's see if there's anything new. They still have my favorite picture over there. I love that one too, but I don't have anywhere for it, I don't think. Nothing really new. I always gravitate to these lamps, but I don't have anywhere to put them. I'm kind of glad there's nothing really new in the home section. My wallet is grateful, but um, I am excited to go look for Easter decor. And I need to like look at my shopping list. I got so much cute decor though in the dollar section. So we ended up ordering new counter stools from Castlery. I think they're coming soon, but these are so cute. So I'm poking around the clothes. There's nothing really new. I think they're kind of like between seasons right now. Why do I love this craft mac and cheese i think it's so cute tucked into some jeans for the spring why do i love this i don't know so i am looking for something to wear to easter and this is kind of like giving that vibe like that is so cute with like the cutouts that could be great then they have this one that's cute too and I love this blue. I've been really into blue lately. And yes, that is in my cart, along with two t-shirts and a pair of pants. Oh wait, they have my size in the mac and cheese color dress. Should I get this one for Easter? I don't know. I also like both of these, kind of torn. I do like the green, so I don't know. It's between these three, but I do like them. I also see a really pretty blue dress over there. Okay, these are the trash bags I normally get, and they have pink ones that are cherry blossom. Why do I want them? I'm gonna get them. <laughs> okay, we're doing pretty good. We're gonna go over to get like the stuff on my list and then work our way over to the Easter. All right, entering the Easter zone. I can't wait to make my future kids Easter baskets. Like that's all I wanna do. Like that, so freaking cute. Oh, it lights up. I definitely want this egg. I love it. I'm gonna get this little egg too. And I'm gonna get this for hosting and put some little like desserts and stuff on it. Should I add this big? Oh, he's kind of, he's kind of mischievous looking. Mischievous, mischievous, I don't know. Looks a little sus, buddy, but I kind of like it. So I think I'm gonna get a bunch of like cute stuff to make like, a candy dessert tray on that little tray <laughs> I just showed you guys. Like these little peeps. They have some cute little things over here, like these. This would all look so cute on there, and then they're just like individually wrapped, these little chickies. You guys, look at these little candies. Pop-tarts, that is so cute. I'm gonna get this cute little bandana for Bruni. Actually, maybe I'll look online. I feel like I could find a cuter spring one online on Amazon. They have some cute little other Easter stuff for the dog. Like, look at that little Easter basket for the dog. This one, so cute. Or this, whoa, is this an egg? 
Oh, he would love this. Actually, I'll probably make my dog an Easter basket, honestly. Okay, I was just stopped in my tracks because I love the color of these joggers. I have nothing like this and they're like kind of waffly. They have a matching top. Oh, they don't have my size in the top, but like those are some sick joggers. They have a lot of pretty like springy colors over here. So I asked you guys on Instagram and it looks like 55% of you so far like the craft dress. Dude, imagine these, a little monochromatic moment. Dude, oh, that would be so cool. Don't even lie, guys. I kind of want to get them to go with it. Like it's a slightly different color, but I still think it would look so cool together. Okay, I love this top from Ava and Viv. Like that is so cute. That was a successful trip. Let's go home and do a haul. Okay, you guys, back home. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up. I have a bunch of Target bags here. Grabbed Bruno more of his Fresh Pet. I just fed him some lunch and put that in the fridge. Okay, so honestly, like the majority of the decorations I got were in the dollar section. Is it still the dollar section? It's not all a dollar anymore, but it's like one, three, five, maybe ten. I don't know. So I got a bunch of cute little bunnies. I'm gonna do this like on the entryway table as a display. And there are so many good affordable bunny options. So these are the ones that I got. We've got this is my favorite. This woven one is so freaking cute. This one was five dollars. I think this one was three. I think this one was three. So we've got this little grassy one, little mossy, and then this one's like a porcelain statue, cute. And then I grabbed this one for three, three dollars. This plush one, the little pink, so cute. Pink little tail, yeah. So those are my little, my little bunny tribe. Okay, so as I said, I got a bunch of like Easter themed dessert items, which I'm going to put on display on Easter for dessert. So I got one pack of the dipped strawberry peeps and then one of just the classic yellow. I think these are just like really cute and gonna be like perfect on the display. And since they're like chocolate dipped, it'll be a little bit more fun. Oh my God, <laughs> my hair is like frizzy. Okay, and then these were perfect. They had decorated bunny butter cookies from Peeps. Cute little cookies with the frosting. So I got two packs of these. My family is pretty small, so I don't need a lot of stuff, but enough to make a cute little dessert tray. Then I grabbed these lint little carrots, chocolate carrots. They have hazelnut too. And then I got the cute little um, chickies. Cute. I got a pack of the Reese's eggs. I can put those as part of it too. These tiny little lint bunnies. They're the perfect little size. Oh, I got two of the Reese's eggs. So eight in total. But yeah, that's how I'm going to make my dessert tray. So stay tuned on Easter. I also figured it'd be the perfect time to grab like dishware and stuff for Easter. So Look at these cute bunnies. Oh, so cute. So this is a pack of 10 and I also got this pack of 10. So these are the two Easter plates. And then I got these matching napkins just with this pretty little colorful pattern. I grabbed this in the dollar section. This was $5 for these two dish towels. I like to have like a decorative dish towel sometimes on the stove. We don't really use it, it's just cute. Oh, and I also got these little ones for like dessert. So I feel like it's always good to have one big plate option and one small. I love this. This was the last one of these little garlands. So I just thought this was so cute with these little like woven, almost crocheted little things. It's got a bunny, a carrot, and a chick. Like, come on, adorable. And then I got this in the dollar section for $5. This is food safe. It's just a little serving platter with the carrots. It's so cute for five bucks. So, and this is great because I can save this all for next year. I'm gonna go down to, in this vlog, and grab the Easter decorations from last year and we'll decorate today. So, cute. I'm just gonna like lean this against the wall in the kitchen. So they were out of my Barilla protein pasta. So I got this yellow lentil penne um, and this one has 23 grams of protein per portion. So that's really good. And it's made with yellow lentils. So I'll report back. I just could not resist the cherry blossom trash bags. It's very spring. Ooh, I smell them through the box. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have more Easter stuff over here. So I don't know why this egg just like spoke to me. It was 10 bucks 
um, but it's so pretty. It's like, it looks hand painted, probably not. Indoor decorative use only. Not, this is not a toy guys, in case you didn't know not a toy and then i got this egg to go with it one side is like a gingham print and then the other has this little pink bunny so i love that it has something cute on both sides oh and then i got this because i just loved this woven rooster this was five bucks this is just going to stay in the kitchen 24 7 because i just think it's adorable and then this is what i'm going to put the dessert platter on well you know me, I'll probably do a show charcuterie as well. The charcuterie might go on here and then there's another tray I could do the dessert, but look at how cute this is. Like, I love it. It's got like rope around the shape of the bunny and then these little felt flowers. Perfect tray to serve on Easter. And then this was the one I was swooning for in the front of the store for five bucks. This kind of retro looking awning. <laughs> on the two-tier tray. Are you kidding? Like this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm contemplating doing like the desserts on here and then the charcuterie on the other one. So that's the plan for now. I think that's such a cute tray though, just to have for like serving and hosting because it's just so unique. Okay, so Kraft Mac and Cheese one. I love this color. I have no shame. I put back the button up because that's, that's too much craft. <laughs> so I got this dress for Easter. I'll have to try it on. I didn't try it on. I got, they only had the XXL, I think. So we'll have to see how it fits. And then this top was just like calling my name. I love it with the puff sleeve, this fun gathering, ruching in the front. It has a nice <laughs> bit of stretch in the back and it ties at the top and the back. I don't know what it is about like the red and purple together. It just, it's so spring, just with like a nice pair of jeans. And then these are my favorite kind of tops right now. I have one from Target. It's old though. I don't know if it's the same kind, but this kind of muscle tee, <laughs> it's Bruno, with like the shortish muscle sleeves. So these were 10 bucks. So I love wearing these and I only have one. So I've got one in white and one in black. I'll link all this down below. I highly recommend those t-shirts because they look just a little bit more elevated than like a typical t-shirt and they had other colors. And then I got these joggers. This color is so pretty. It's just so pretty. They're just like a straight leg jogger. They have like, they're actually ribbed, which is so fun. So I love these so much. They didn't have um, the matching sweatshirt, but they did have a matching tank, which, I thought would still be really cute and I could wear this to the gym too because it's a gym fabric. And I did not try on the shoes. I hope they fit. I mean, I have the receipt. I can return them if they don't, but these shoes are just absolutely iconic. <laughs> They're so just retro looking to me. So 2000s. I think they're gonna look so cool with the dress. I'm gonna have to take such a fun pick with this. I don't know why. They just, they did something for me. Okay, so let me put this away and then I'll show you guys how I decorate with the bunnies. A few moments later. Okay, here is my display in the front. This little cluster. I just incorporated it on these candle holders I already had. So cute. Okay, there's that. I have to be quiet because he's on the phone. Then our cute little towels right here. And I just leaned this against this tray for now. So I will say this kept slipping. So I put a tiny piece of tape right here. So just an FYI, but super cute. And then I hung this little garland up here. This is kind of where I hang garland, but look at how cute. It's kind of giving like baby vibes. Like I feel like this could go in a nursery. <laughs> and then over here in the coffee bar area, I put this little rooster where they are going to live forever. This is still one of my favorite little pieces in our house, this little alcove. Cause the oranges and the orange, it's just really pretty. Many hours later. Okay, so I had lunch and I blew my nose. So we're a little bit red, that's okay. I just brought up the Easter decorations from years past. Oh my gosh, I love this. We have this cute little bunny bath towel. I'm definitely gonna put this in the downstairs bathroom. And we have two of these Happy Easter pillows. These are nice. There's got some feathers in there. So we have two matching pillows. So I think I'll put these, um, 
I'm contemplating if I want to put them on like the entryway bench in the mudroom or in the chairs in the study. Then we have two of these eggs. They're like kind of shimmery rope with the pastels. I don't know where any of this is from. I think the pillows are definitely home goods. These might be home goods or Target. This is from Target years ago. It still has the sticker on the bottom. 1999. Oh no. Oh no. A chunk of moss missing. I could add more. But like this egg tree is one of my favorites. I don't know why. I just love it. Like look at the gold flecks on the eggs. So cute. I might put that over with our little bunny family. Then we have this little cutout wood bunny, but the edges are gold. So cute. This is from Home Goods. The tag is on it from Ray Dunn. Happy spring. And then the last thing is my fave. It's so cute. This little wreath shaped like a bunny. So cute. I think I'm gonna put this on my front door because it has a little hanger. I mean, it's such a vibe. Or I could put it on that door over there, but that's very springy too. And I do love a good festive front door wreath. So we had more decor than I thought. So let me put everything in a spot and then I'll show you where I put it. Okay, so in the kitchen, I have this little setup right here around the home pot, and I ended up just pulling some of the moss from the front and covering the back. Super cute. And then I kind of incorporated the happy spring sign right here. And I put the Easter bunny on the front door. And right now I have an Amazon haul I'm gonna film and then I'll put the Easter pillows on the bench. Are you playing with your ball? Are you playing with your ball? Oh yeah. Ready, go get it. 